what treatment options are available for women with recurrent ovarian cancer. And the reason this is important is because 75 to 80 percent of women with ovarian cancer will recur sometime in the course of their illness. And again, many years ago, there really weren't very many good options. However, in the last 15 years, there have been many, many drugs developed, many, many new agents developed that have shown activity in ovarian cancer. The best treatment approaches uh, depend on, the best assessment of treatment approaches depend on how long it is since the cancer had been treated. So the longer out from your initial chemotherapy, the better the chances are that the cancer will again respond to treatment. Platinum-based chemotherapies remain our best approach. If patients, however, recur within six months of their initial treatment, platinum-based chemotherapies unfortunately are unlikely to have a very prolonged approach, but there have been a number of other drugs in the last 10 years developed which have shown activity in these illnesses. And so what we hope to do often is to make ovarian cancer a chronic disease rather than a, an incurable disease. And often women will require repeat treatments with many of the agents that are available and that have activity um, in order to maintain the best long-term quality of life. Uh, listing of approved agents for ovarian cancer are, is on the uh, NCCN guideline page for ovarian cancer. Uh, there's a recurrence therapy page which uh, lists the treatment approaches which have good evidence in the medical literature of effectiveness.